Okay, y'all. Look in the community section and you'll see where I've put up pictures of the green beans that I did. Um, well, by the time you see this video, they will be they will be complete. <laughs> all you got, all you're doing is killing the germs off of them. This knife doesn't feel very sharp. Um, is killing the germs off of them. Um, and then you put them in ice water to stop the cooking process. And then you lay them out on a towel to dry and I'm going to have to get a different knife. One moment. Okay guys, sorry about that. This knife just for some reason needs sharp. So what I'm going to do now is while I've got the green beans in the water, it's, it doesn't really matter how long they sit in the ice water. It doesn't matter how long they sit in there. Um, it's just stopping the cooking process. And they can sit there for a minute while I'm working on, on this. Now I have this contraption that my sister gave me. I think my sister gave it to me. And it's, you know, all these parts and things. And I'm going to use this to chop the onion with. And if you have one of these, be very careful. Now, onions can be frozen for up to, you know, three to six months. After that, they start to lose flavor. So, if I can remember how to put this together, I've only used it a few times. And I have one in, I have one of the things in here now. And I need to get a little tricky to get out. And you've got to be careful. Oh, please be careful pulling these things in and out. I know I'm doing this wrong. I know that I'm doing this wrong. Because those blades might not look like it, but they are incredibly sharp. Yep, very, very sharp. If I can see where the thing goes in, but how? One moment while I figure this out. Okay, I got it out. What I had to do um, is I used this knife and put it up under there and popped it up. You do not want to push on these blades. They are incredibly sharp and I have cut myself on them before. All right. So what you do then is you choose the blade that you want. And I want this one where they're chopped finely. So that one is going to go in there. Um, and it should just pop right in. It's like a piece of dust or something. <laughs> now, like I said, onions are good for three to six months. After that, they start losing their flavor. They're still good to eat. They'll just lose their flavor. And I mean, what's the point after that? So, this, is, this piece is honestly probably too big. I don't... I want to make sure that it all gets chopped up. Then you just push it down. This is how I'm doing it. You, you don't have to do it this way. You can sit and chop if you want to. Now, it doesn't get that outer skin part, which is fine. I just need to pull that off anyways. And then you can put the next piece on. You gotta use some force. See, and then it, it all went down finally. I wasn't using enough force. There you go. Much better. See? So I could have cut away. I could have not shown y'all that. 
Well, what's the point in that? There we go. Now we're doing it. There we go. And it all, it all got in there. Because like I said, that blade is sharp. So I'm going to cut the rest of these up and do those. And then we're going to put those in the bag. By the way, I do want to say I am not sponsored by this gadget. <laughs> I'm going to leave, I had four onions, I'm going to leave one of them because um, I will probably have a tuna sandwich later with onions. Woo! It cuts down on the tears somewhat, but not, <laughs> not completely. Ah. All right, and then I have, a, I have a freezer bag and I've labeled it, you see, today, November 5th. And expire January 2024 because I know I know that that's when the, the taste of them is gonna start you know going away so and then you you can then you slide this out that little piece comes out and you can dump it right into your bag you can see what I'm doing And this, that way, then you've got onions ready to go. If you're going to make chili or put them in your diced fried taters or just whatever. And so I squeeze out as much, um, I squeeze out as much air as I possibly can. And then I flatten it. I flatten it. I flatten it out, and then I'm just gonna lay it in the freezer. Doesn't they look beautiful? Beautiful. And they're gonna be frozen. <laughs> okay, while I've got you guys on video, I'm gonna move over here to lay my green beans out. This is so you can see how it's done. And we're doing this together because this is my first time doing this. So I'm just going to lay them out on this towel. And it's not a fuzzy towel. I, I don't think I'd use a fuzzy towel. But I'm just going to lay them out here to dry. Don't want to get my phone wet. <laughs> and I'm not worried about if I pick up a piece of ice with it because the ice is going to melt anyway. But they need to be dry before you can put them in the freezer. So I'm just going to let these sit here and dry today. And I think this is pretty cool because I've honestly never done this. All of this, you know, trying to freeze vegetables and all this stuff. And I really do... My aunt suggested dehydrating, and I, I did not see a dehydrator around here, um, but I would love to dehydrate uh, like bananas because I love banana chips, and I love dehydrated apples and pears, and so like I said, you don't have to pick the ice out of it because it's going to melt, but just... My, it, that's my OCD. <laughs> and so I'm just spreading them out here on this towel. And I'm just going to let them sit here and dry today. Yep. <laughs> let me get you an above view of this. Hopefully you guys can see it. And I just pulled them out of that ice after boiling them for, uh, you know, rolling boil for about um, five, three or four minutes. And now I'm going to go put, um, clean up this mess over here and I'm going to keep working on my veggies and I'll show you guys later. 